subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Hello everybody! In this video I'll tell you about the tablet mode in Windows 10, why you may Microsoft decided to make Windows operating system unified so it can be used with all kinds of devices. For this purpose they added a function called tablet mode. This ma mode made Windows really versatile. This function changes the interface of the operating system depending on the type of the device where it is installed. That is why Windows can be used with personal computers and laptops as well as with touchscreen devices, tablets, smartphones and hybrid laptops with touchscreens. And the user experience with mobile devices will be much better. This function optimizes automatically any touchscreen device, simplifies the menu and puts the system interface into full screen mode shows application windows in full screen and reduces the size of control element icons. If you have ever used Windows 8 operating system, you may have noticed its interface is more convenient for touchscreen devices. That's why, in Windows 10, Microsoft took care of this problem by introducing the tablet mode with double adaptive function, which can recognize what equipment you are using and will change the interface automatically between the common desktop mode and tablet mode in order to choose the best variant for every particular situation. This mode lets you use the device in a more comfortable way, depending on its type. In the tablet mode, all applications you start will switch to full screen automatically. That's why you're not going to see the good old desktop, but you'll be able to access it through the File Explorer. As you must have noticed, the taskbar now has a back button shaped like an arrow next to the Start menu. And you can see that all the shortcuts you used to have on your desktop are now gone. Such interface is certainly better for touchscreen devices. The buttons are larger, there is an extra back button, there are no icons pinned to the taskbar, and your touchscreen device will show up the screen keyboard every time you select the text field. You can also use the tablet mode on devices without touchscreen but operate a mouse and keyboard instead. You'd ask me, why would we need it? Large tiles and buttons together with a simplified interface can make navigating the operating system easier for some people, especially for device and elderly users. To enable the tablet mode, click on the Action Center icon in the taskbar and the side menu will appear, where you can click and activate the tablet mode. As you can see, the desktop changed at once. To disable this mode, repeat the same steps again and the desktop will be back to its previous condition. If you open the Action Center and you don't see the tablet mode on the list, here is how you can add it. Click on the Start button, Settings and select System. In the Notifications and Actions window that opens, find the section Quick Actions and click on Add or Remove Quick Actions. This is where you can enable or disable showing the icon in the Notifications window. At the bottom of the list you can see Tablet Mode. Enable it by dragging the slider to ON position. After that it will appear in the Notifications window and will always be shown when you open Notifications. To configure the Tablet Mode, open Settings, System and choose Tablet Mode from the list. Here you can decide how this mode is used when you sign in. When you choose Use the tablet mode, your computer will start in this mode. When you go for Use desktop mode, it will start in the standard mode. And if your choice is Use the appropriate mode for my hardware, the desktop mode or the tablet mode will be selected automatically and sign in depending on the device you are using. The settings will apply when you sign in the next time. The next setting can help you to configure when the device can enable this mode automatically. There are three variants as well. Don't ask me and don't switch. Nothing happens and the computer will remain in the desktop mode. Always ask me before switching. You'll see a confirmation request before switching to tablet mode. Don't ask me and always switch. The computer will go to the tablet mode without the request. 
You can also enable showing icons pinned to the taskbar in the tablet mode by dragging another slider. There is also a function to hide the taskbar automatically when the device is in the tablet mode. You can enable all these settings by just right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting them in the menu. Using the Task View button, you can see the list of all running applications for quickly switching from one item to another. In the Tile panel, there is a button All Apps which will show the list of applications for this computer. Right-click on the necessary one and select Pin to start. The shortcut will appear in the Tile panel. The tiles are grouped, and every group can be given a name by entering it into this field. By right-clicking on a tile, you can unpin it or change the size to small or medium. In the tab More, you can choose to pin a tile to the taskbar, open a new window to make the application run in a new window, run as administrator, or open the file location. Moving the running application towards the edge of the screen will pin it to the selected area, and you'll be able to open one more tab in the remaining part of the screen. To close a tab, drag it down, and then you can select another one. The Start button in this mode takes you back to the Start screen. And that is all for now. Hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more if this video was useful for you. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!